I will now open the public speaking portion of the meeting. Is there anyone wishing to address city council? You may do so at this time. Please state your name and address for the record. My name is Samuel Montgomery, chairman of the Olympic local organizer. 32 elements of the business business. I'd like to read this article. It came out in the Suburban News on August 18. Elizabeth receives more than 2.8 million in federal housing grants. U.S. Senators Robert Fernandez and Frank Longberg There's no covering on the building. They have it's been a month now, and they haven't got the 
But the conditions must change. That apartment complex must be put in. If you haven't been up there, council me, council members, please go up and see what we're talking about. Walk around. Walk around and just see what we're talking about. See how the people are suffering. Visit a few of the apartments. See the, the Is there any other resident taxpayer that would like to address the city council you may do so at this time? Sad, 
feeling to me, and say, you know what? I'm just talking to you for 30 minutes, you take an hour of my time. Okay? Then I have my class at the Roberts. I go up there, I observe for three days. I just I said, I was my I would be free to meet you. They sat there for three days. They went to the front office, and my old professor said, I looked at her, she gave me some scouts, she scared me. I said, she does that sometimes. This is Tina. You already said, I said, yes. He said, you have a lot of sickness. I'll show you. So I went to my car, I still have to go to the street. Let's go back outside. I see a red door, red light door. Then you have a shop and noise. Did anybody come? No. Because it's so late at night, you know what I'm doing. So again, I went to South and I saw my car. Then again, you got disgusted. I was talking about a certain building. Okay. I'm taught to train as a social worker. And when I'm a servant, they really obsess me. The next day, it's one gentleman, it's a tenant. He's so, he's um, emotionally disturbed. He comes and says, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I say, go to the office, tell the office that you're hungry. He said, they walk away from me. They did. I said, go back again. They still walk away from me. This man was hungry. I said, fine, tell the man in the office that you want to call your sister. She found it after a half hour, I'm free and fine. They finally called him and his sister. Tell me what I was told, I was going to see how the family 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 not that way. I said, why is the social worker doing this one plus two? See if you're not going to buy a social worker. The senior house is going to shame. I'm amateur. They come talk to me. Tina, I need this. Tina, I need this. I said, go to the office. But all of a sudden, they get off all the time. And my own director of office said, does she go to work in prison? She said, she's not a prison guard. I said, no, she's that way. She's unapproachable. She shows us nothing. She's a test But they can always come to me. But I tell them she can have a little visit, it's awful. We went to North, the third North New York course, and Elizabeth, who was an aunt, this is a bed. Actually, I asked him why, we didn't go there, it was like this so bad. He said, no, I believe so. And then at the day, I was surprised. They'll charge you $5 to change the light bulb, get a new light bulb. You can't pay for the check or cash, you have to give them a money order. Let's think about these are senior citizens, old and sick. How can you go to the bank or go to the post and get a five hour money order to get the right book change? Does that make sense to you? Does not make sense to me either. So I took the pictures and I took them from the last one. Five dollars for a light bulb. We will not go to God and I got four. I think, and I got lots of stuff on the ass. Definitely was like, one of them, I'll tell you, 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 I'll I went an hour and a half and over the door. I said, I'm glad I was going to spend a good boat with a little bit of time. So I asked my sister, my counselor, please forgive me for this. It bothers me. Because in my heart, I always be a social worker. But what I've seen, it really makes me cry. Anything you can do about this problem, please, please do it. These older people, they need our help. They work all their lives. They need to be protected in a house, city county, a city system. It's not happening. I was, I was shocked myself. But I see, I want some done it. It's not fair. So you said it's really not a detective. Spray for in and out the building. It's not clean. Can't get help, you need help. They come call me. I said, I'm not behind it, but first me, anywhere I want, I'm always afraid of social work, so I'll do it anytime I do. So please counsel, please listen to my cry and do something like see how it has to change. For something happening. Look, I told you. And I said, thank you. Okay. Any other resident or taxpayer wishing to address City Council, you can do so at this time. Name and address for the record. Huh? Name and address for the record. Maria recreational things of that nature, you know, to try to get my son into a sport or something, you know, or just something that's for autism. There's really nothing in Elizabeth. Everything is in Mountainside or in Livingston, wherever it is, you know, they do have back to school programs in Mountainside, but that means they're going to take two buses to a bed or two buses to get home. You know, I don't know if anybody, you know, has any child or no child with special needs, you know, or anything, but they Thank 
you give the the clerk information so that way she can find out and get you back to you on it. Yeah, yeah you know, make sure she has here. Any other taxpayer that have wishing to address city council, you may do so at this time. Sean Benson, 1063 Bond Street. The uh, situation with the police has not changed. It hasn't changed at all. He's, um, Sandy Brooks and City uh, slacked up. I'm up there every night. He comes through when he can to check out for us. They ain't slacked up at all. They come through. Just last night, they were right now, they were asking our children. Just last night, this happened. A kid playing in the dirt. They say he was vandalizing some stuff or whatever by putting mud. A nine year old kid putting mud on the side of the generator. When he was playing in the dirt, they called back up on him, uh, gave the mother a hard time or something. And, uh, you know, they walked through at night with their hands and their sticks, putting on their gloves, about 10 of them. This is every night. They come through and they say smart remarks. Tell the uh, grown people they got to go in the house, the men, because it's still long, you didn't do anything about it. You didn't really do nothing. I'm just being straight up with you, you didn't do anything. The conditions of living over there, as far as the construction site, nobody's living into anything, nobody did nothing. You ain't doing anything. Their breathing is horrible, man. You, you told me you were going to come and told me personally. The last time I saw you, you would come, you didn't come. You should see this yourself. The police wear masks when they come up there. What that tell you? Now you want me to show you a picture of that? I'll show you some footage from that. But I, I, like I tell you, I didn't bring all this stuff here, but I have it. When the time comes, I'm going to show everybody everything. But I'm giving you a chance to do something. You're not doing nothing. Nothing. Do something. I hope you do the right thing with this money. I don't know if you've seen this letter. I'm not quite sure you I'm all aware of this. But I'll leave it here. But if you can start this with all you can give it to the city clerk and she can now circulate it to everybody. Okay, but something's got to change because these cops are way out of hand. They beat up a female downtown. I don't know who you're aware of that. Um, they, they're out of control. They're not kind of human. You know, just because they walk around now, the only thing that's changed, they don't wear their plain clothes anymore. They're in uniform. That's the only change you've seen. Everything else is the same. They're still the same. They act like maniacs. They walk at night. You should see how they come through. They tell all the work like go in the house, go in the house, go in the house. You say, well, I'm not here with my children. It's 7 o'clock. It's, it's the summertime. I don't care. If I have to come back, I'm going to lock you up. This is, this is recent. This is this week I'm talking about. And last night, they were harassing a little child. A nine-year-old kid. Someone you could have just told his mother to an age, drove up, they still ride on the grass. They have these expedition trucks. There's a white expedition truck. They have ten windows. They ride all up on the grass, racing all through it. And these are, they're, they're, these are sergeants. I don't know, lieutenants, white shirts, we call them. The ones that are, they know better. They know better. Okay? Those are the ones that should tell other ones not to do it. Why are they still doing it? They're, they're, the other cops are going to do what they see them do. You know, and, and, and what they tell them. I know they're not talking about that. They're still doing it. You know, you, you, what do you want me to do? You want me to bring a, a TV in for you to see this and stuff? Like, I don't want you to do it. I'm telling you, I, I don't have time to keep coming in wasted, but I will. Uh, like I said, like he said, we'll be here all the time until something's changed. And I hope you do the right thing with this money. We know about it, okay? We know about it. Great numbers of us know about it. Do something about it. Fix it. I don't know what's going on, but do something. Okay? Something effective that we know of. And, and come up there, like you promised me. You promised me I walk the premises with you. Nothing will happen to you. You don't have to worry about that. When cops come there, they're fine. We'll walk around with them. I don't care how I got to go down. You come at night, you come during the day. You should come at night so you can see what we see. You should come at night, maybe 12 at night, 11 at night. You can't even walk through the store late night. You can't go to your car to get gas. They, they're parking by your car, seeing smart remarks. They'll be blocking you in so you can't pull out. This is what goes on up there. And, and you know, the people are like, they, they're not afraid of it. They, it's what, what could you do? They're, they're the law. You know, you can only say so much. That's why we're here telling you that you're not doing nothing. Do something, please. Any other taxpayer resident wishing to address city council? You may do so at this time.
show. He's not a bad kid. He's never been in trouble. He's not going to run a You know, the two who cleaned it up, that's what he's doing. You know, but all the while, the whole world, life is going to be telling him, take your hands off, why you still hold You know, but the response is, yeah, bro. Now, 
to me, I think if any of you want to know how it is to live up there, why don't you stay in one apartment? And I used to work for the hundred, and I used to take care of you know, a, a, a building of 250 people. As God is my witness, those people would live in deplorable, the ceilings were falling down. And I sat there, and I had every repair done. Because that could have been my family member, and that could have been me or my children. You do not want other people to live the way you wouldn't want to live or your children. <laughs> but I hear these people pain. And as an official, do you hear this? I need your vote. Well now they're they're knocking over here saying I need help. And what are you planning to do? Because I've been looking at these videos. Nelson, I'm sorry, I respect you, but you should have kept your work. You should have showed up and, and let them see that these are serious. Because it hurts them. These people are not I went and I, I, and I went to Lesniak's house and they were having a picnic. That they were all recording that, that um, Old Lane Plaza was being knocked down. And I looked at my friend James, I turned around and said, wow, I'm surprised they didn't get beach chairs and, you know, selling tickets out there. You know, to see this happen. Where are the people going to go? These are children. To hear that children have to play in mud? Would you want your kids to play in mud? Is that why we have children? Many of them don't have money like we all do. But you know something? Live in their apartment. See how they have to live. And then as a police, I know me. This, he's a racist person. He hates the color of black. He hates it. He might as well turn around and start wearing a white sheet over his head and say, I'm KKK. Because I know you and I know Shaq. Those are two cops that should not be on the force. Now, I could stand here and you could say, okay, we looked at that mouth for I really don't care. But you know something? I stand up for the people. Go ahead. And I was sitting there. And you know something? I pay taxes. And I'm feeling their pain, and I don't live there. And if I live there, let me tell you something. You say that you went to the, uh, the city hall. I bet you any money right now, I'll put a dollar. That I'll get something done before you do. And I make a promise on my grandson's life that I will get help for that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Young man right here, he, um, he also, at the council meeting, he also had in the cops, um, they were saying something like, um, something to him, and in fact, um, um, I want to, I'll, I'll just paraphrase because I'm not for sure, but I think they were telling him, you need to go home, don't go over there with the people. He said, I know, I'm going right over there with them. I'm going to hang out with them.